I got you now. Huh. Oh, come on, man. That's not even fair. You know this is my chip. <laughs> Will you stop it? That's not even fair. I've had enough of this. Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I know my day's been awesome. I have so much going on, but it's great. Anyways, I want to show you guys how I did that cool rewind and glitch effect there at the intro of the day. I did a fast forward effect similar to that in my previous tutorial, and I thought I'd share that with you. Anyways, if this is your first time here and you like what you've seen or what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Anyways, now that I got that out of the way, let's get to the tutorial. Okay guys, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new solid layer. To do that, we go to the timeline here, we right click, select new, and select solid. And we'll name this noise, we'll press okay. After we get that down, we need to go over to effects over here, and we need to go to type in turbulent. And you should see turbulent noise under noise and grain. We'll drag that to our solid layer here. Once we get that, we wanna switch the noise type to block, and we'll go over to the complexity here, and we'll change it to 1.5, but it can be anywhere between one to 1.5, maybe even two. It just depends on what kind of effect you're looking for, but I chose 1.5 here. Once you get that done, we want to go over to transform and we want to go to scale and we want to uncheck uniform scaling. We want to take that width way up and we want to take the height way low here. And then we want to go to contrast and brightness and we'll adjust those settings. We'll take the contrast up really high and let's see what we can do with the brightness here. We'll take it down. Now what you want to do is alt click on the stopwatch beside evolution, which will bring up the expressions and we're going to type in time times 2000. Click off of it. Now what we have is this little animation here, which I'll play it here just so you see it. Pretty cool effect. The next thing we want to do is we want to apply another effect. We'll go over here and look up tint. We're going to apply that to this clip. And we want to go over to black and we want to do about 50% on it, which, and we'll just use hashtag 808080. We'll go ahead and press OK. And come back to the timeline here. We'll right click on our noise layer and go to pre-compose and we'll move all attributes a new composition and we'll name this mat. Press OK. Now that we got that done, we'll hide that layer because we won't need it. And we'll go to our clip and we'll hit Control D to duplicate it. And we'll go over here to effects and we want to look up displacement map. So we'll just type in displace. There it is. Drag it over here to our movie clip. We'll go over here to displacement map layer and we'll go to switch it from rewind to mat and we'll adjust our horizontal and verticals here. And you can see that it's actually changing our clip. Vertical, you don't want to adjust too much, but horizontal will move a lot more. That's looking pretty good. The next effect that we want to apply here is VR chromatic aberrations. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But anyways, it's over here in effects. You'll just type in VR and it's the second one right here. And you'll just you'll click on it and you'll drag it over to your clip and there it is. And you can see that it's giving you some red and green and all that. What I like to do is I like to take the red to five and green to negative five because I don't want it to be too dramatic. And they give us like a purplish green kind of a look and we'll play this and you already have your glitchy effect here but what I'm wanting to do with it is I want to separate myself from the actual footage I don't want the whole footage to be glitched what we want to do is we want to turn off our effects for these layers for now the next thing that we need to do is we need to mask out our footage the first thing you want to do when you do the mask is you go ahead and make your mask so I'm gonna actually go closer in so I can get a better idea what this mask is gonna look like. And I'm just gonna do a rough mask around myself here. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys so you don't have to see me mask out everything. So now we got the mask done. Let's go ahead and turn our effects back on and see what it looks like. And we'll hide the, the mask. And you should have a really cool glitchy effect here of just you, as you can see. So you have this really cool glitchy effect. One more thing we need to do with the mask though is we wanna make sure to feather it. I did about 10% here. Now that we got this out of the way, the next thing we wanna do here with our clip is we wanna do two things. First we want to speed it up because we're reversing everything. So we want to right click on our clip, go to time, and we want to reverse the layer. And that plays your clip backwards because obviously in the case of my video, I hit the rewind button. So it should pull everything back. And that's kind of what I was aiming for. 
Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to time again and you wanna do time stretch. And what you wanna do here is you wanna change it. I did about three seconds. You wanna change the duration. It's gonna shrink your frames and it's gonna speed up your footage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now that we have that, this is what you guys should have. And there it is guys, there's that fast forward reverse glitchy pause effect thing. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. And uh, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of future videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.